Finally, after years of being pushed back, the New Mutants is here. And it's not the best. So, I guess you can't really talk about this movie without also acknowledging the troubled production that it faced. Fox was unhappy with Josh Boone's vision, so they wanted to reshoot most of the film, but those reshoots never happened, and then Fox was taken over by Disney, and Boone fought to keep his original vision as the final cut of the movie, but then the theaters were all shut down due to the coronavirus pandemic, so all of these developments resulted in the film being continually delayed over and over and over again. And it turns out, all of the fuss was much ado about nothing, because this movie is just meh. So maybe the New Mutants will be remembered more for its production troubles, more so than its actual narrative. Which is, a group of young mutants are held in a secret facility in order to control their abilities, protect them from others, and shelter them from themselves. So this facility is acting as a hospital, a treatment center of sorts for young mutants who can't yet control their powers. But by making this location a hospital, the filmmakers were relying heavily on the audience's suspension of disbelief. Because this facility is only run by one person, Dr. Reyes. There's literally no other staff members. So if this facility is filled with rebellious young mutants who feel like they are being trapped in a prison, why wouldn't they just decide to gang up on Dr. Reyes and kill her with their superpowers if they felt like she was holding them hostage? I don't know, maybe it would have taken smarter characters to figure that one out. And the characters here are pretty, I want to say, one note. They all have paper-thin personalities. Aside from their mutant abilities, each character basically has one defining trait. One is an asshole, one is bitchy, one is Irish, one is from Kentucky, and our main character is Native American. That's all I know about these new mutants. They're basically a mix of stereotypical teenagers all brought together to form a breakfast club or something. You would think that type of premise would be perfect for director Josh Boone, who previously helmed The Fault in Our Stars, but The New Mutants is just not compelling. The first half of the film is just plain boring, as the mystery behind this facility isn't all that engaging, but the film does take an interesting turn in the second act, as the movie starts to connect to the larger X-Men universe. Yes, there are a few allusions to the bigger X-Men world, but the film does stand firmly on its own. So if you're unfamiliar with the X-Men franchise, you won't be lost. And if you are a fan of the series, you'll understand how the New Mutants connects to X-Men Apocalypse and Logan. But all of the references do feel pretty pointless, since they basically connect the New Mutants to an already dead franchise. So all of that intrigue disappears as the narrative builds towards a really dumb finale with incredibly bad CGI. The entire movie tries to set itself up as a horror film, and while the horror elements do work pretty decently, the finale just devolves into a mindless action set piece that totally disregards all of the horror that came before. So the movie doesn't commit to its own horror concept. The characters are poorly written, the acting is okay, but we've seen each and every one of these actors deliver a far better performance in something else, there are no surprising twists or reveals in the story, and the finale is incredibly dumb and anticlimactic. I mean, I can kind of see what Josh Boone may have been going for, but I just don't think he stuck the landing. Maybe that's why Fox wanted to do some reshoots in the first place, because the film isn't really as deep and meaningful as it wants to be. Everything sits comfortably at the surface level. So as much as people are clamoring for director's cuts of Suicide Squad and Justice League, I think the new mutants probably could have benefited from having some reshoots done. 
But I believe once Disney acquired the property, they just wanted to release the movie as soon as possible so they can finally get it out there and move on. And I think some legal loopholes prevented them from just dumping it onto Disney+. Plus. So, now that it is out, Marvel can focus on introducing mutant characters into the MCU because Fox's X-Men series is finally complete and finished. And what a franchise it was, featuring some incredible highs, but also some unbelievable lows. And the New Mutants, unfortunately, does feel like another low point for the franchise, because the movie is just plain bad. I do think it's better than Apocalypse and Dark Phoenix, but that's probably about it. Josh Boone had some interesting concepts in mind for the film, but I just don't think they were executed as well as they could have been. And for that, I would likely give The New Mutants two and a quarter out of five stars. Thanks for watching.